IFA 2025 has been full of wild tech, but let me tell you, this one actually made people stop in their tracks. Roborock just dropped not one, but two brand new robotic lawnmowers, the Rock Neo Q1 and the Mo Z1. And after seeing what these things can do, I'm convinced they're about to completely change how we think about lawn care. Forget everything you know about robot mowers that get stuck, spin in circles, or miss half the yard. These two come packed with features that are straight up game changers. Let's break them down. First up is the Rock Neo Q1, the compact little mower that's built for small gardens, but don't let the size fool you. Roborock has slimmed it down, but it still manages to cut right up to the edge, just three centimeters from the border. That's something most bigger, pricier mowers still struggle with. And trust me, nobody likes dragging out the trimmer just to clean up what your robot left behind. Now, where the Q1 shines is its AI-powered smart mapping. It builds an accurate map of your yard in minutes, with barely any setup on your part. You're not stuck burying wires or wasting weekends marking boundaries. It just knows. That's thanks to its stereo vision system paired with a 10T AI platform, which gives it almost automotive-grade awareness. It also has something I didn't expect, an environmental perception system called Centisphere AI. Translation? Even in shady corners or spots where satellite signals drop out, this mower doesn't freak out and stop. It just keeps going. On the practical side, the Q1 covers up to 1,000 square meters per day. It glides through passages as narrow as 0.7 meters, shifts between zones automatically, and handles slopes up to 45% or about 24 degrees. That's pretty steep for a mower this small. And I really like the floating blade design. It lets the mower adapt to uneven terrain without scalping your grass. But here's where you'll notice it's more of an entry-level model. It won't be quite as precise as Roborock's flagship S1, and while it nails the basics, it isn't built for massive lawns. Think of it as your everyday smart assistant for small, tidy gardens. And here's a bonus. It has a wildlife-friendly mode that avoids mowing at night, so hedgehogs and other little creatures stay safe. Honestly, that's thoughtful design. Now, the Rockmau Z1 is a completely different story. This is the mower Roborock brought out to flex, and wow, did it deliver! Imagine a robotic mower with all-wheel drive, each wheel powered independently, and an active steering system. This thing doesn't just cut grass, it conquers terrain. At the demo, I watched it climb an 80% slope. Yes, you heard that right, 80%. That's almost 39 degrees, and it did it without slipping without losing traction, and even handled the way back down just as smoothly. Most robot mowers can barely handle half that, and the engineering doesn't stop there. The Z1's dynamic suspension system keeps the chassis stable, while its floating blade system adjusts instantly to bumps and uneven ground. So instead of chewing up your lawn or missing patches, it just glides and trims evenly. Add in six blades powered by a strong motor, and it can chew through thick, lush grass like it's nothing. One feature I really liked is pressy edge cutting. Just like the Q1, it trims within three centimeters of walls and fences. But Roborock went a step further and included an accessory edge trimmer for those hard to reach spots. If you've got a big yard with a lot of borders, this matters. And yes, it has brains to match the brawn. Dual RGB cameras, RTK, and VSLAM mapping give it rock-solid awareness of your yard. It even keeps its bearings in shaded areas where other GPS-dependent mowers usually freeze up. The app also lets you design mowing patterns, stripes, grids, spirals. So if you're the type who wants a lawn that looks like a professional sports field, this is your toy. Battery and coverage, it's built for the big leagues, up to 5,000 square meters per cycle. That's basically a football field worth of lawn in one go. The downside? Well, we don't know the price yet, and with all this tech, you can bet it won't be cheap. Plus, it's launching in Europe first before coming to the US, so you may need to wait your turn. So here's the real question. Which one makes sense for you? The Rock Neo Q1 is the perfect fit if you've got a smaller yard and you want something that's easy to set up, 
efficient with edges, and smart enough not to stall out in shaded corners. It's compact, reliable, and even eco-friendly with that wildlife protection mode. The only trade-off is that it's not built for massive lawns, and it won't map quite as precisely as the top-tier models. The Rockmo Z1, on the other hand, is the monster mower. It's for people with huge, uneven yards, the kind where a normal mower just gives up. The AWD system, the suspension, the pattern mowing, it's basically a lawn sculpting robot on steroids. But with that power comes a higher price tag and a bit of a wait before it hits the US. Both models nail edge cutting at 3 centimeters, which is a huge win, and both rely on genuinely smart AI systems that make mowing less of a chore and more of a set it and forget it experience. At the end of the day, Roborock just proved at IFA 2025 that robot mowers don't have to be clunky gadgets anymore. They can actually be intelligent machines that save you time, protect your lawn, and even look pretty slick while doing it. So, are you Team Rock Neo Q1 or Team Rock Mo Z1? Would you go for the slim, efficient small garden specialist or the all-wheel drive powerhouse that climbs slopes like a mountain goat? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm curious to see which one you'd actually buy. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe Technology X AI for more smart tech reviews straight from IFA 2025. And share this with a friend who hates mowing their lawn. Trust me, they'll thank you later.